Hi there, Doug Stuman with IT Creations with another exciting adventure into the inner workings of one of HP's most powerful servers, the ProLiant ML350 Gen 10. HP says this platform delivers a 71% increase in performance over the Gen 9 version. It offers excellent scalability with support for dual processors, lots of memory, and impressive storage. As a tower server, it's designed for a small to medium-sized business or remote or branch office, but it can easily be rack managed to support future company growth. Let's take a look. What's new on this system? The whole platform has been redesigned and is now a little shorter than the previous version, and the security bezel is standard equipment. The processors and memory modules line up with each other, presumably for better cooling. Four variable speed fans are located just behind the hard drive bays, and two more on the back panel are standard equipment for basic cooling needs. The Gen 9 version had up to eight fans mounted just behind the hard drives, four of which provided redundancy in a two-processor performance application. In general, the Gen 10 version may be a little smaller, but still packs more punch with Intel scalable processors supporting 24 DIMM slots at up to 2666 MHz and support for more NVMe solid state drives. You can install one or two Intel Xeon scalable processors from the bronze, silver, gold, or platinum families with up to 28 cores, like the Platinum 8180. When comparing the top of the line 8180 processors with the previous generation E52699 V4 processors, you get a 71% increase in performance and a 27% increase in core count from 22 cores to 28 cores. The new processors also deliver six memory channels, which is two more than the E5 V4 processors. However, if you want to hit that maximum capacity of three terabytes of memory, you will need processors that support 1.5 terabytes of memory each, the ones that have the M after the model number. Those without the M only support up to 768 gigabytes each. By the way, IT Creations has the HPE ML350 Gen 10 server in stock, and for a limited time you can save up to $250 off the list price of a system valued at $1,500 or more just by mentioning this video. To see pricing on this system, click that link. Just click that link. Click that link. We can also custom configure the system to your specifications and send it out for next day delivery. Both registered or load reduced DIMM modules can be installed, but only LR DIMM memory modules will support the maximum memory capacity of 3 terabytes. If you plan on using registered DIMM modules, expect to have only 768 gigabytes of total memory available. Storage is similar compared to the Gen 9 ML350, with configurations for both large and small form factor HDDs and SSDs, but there are a few of the high capacity storage configurations missing, like support for 24 LFF drives and 48 SFF. I was somewhat surprised that the maximum storage is less than the Gen 9 version, but you can still get up to 184 terabytes using 7.68 terabyte LFF SAS SSDs. The Gen 9 version supported a maximum storage capacity of 288 terabytes using SAS or SATA LFF drives of 12 terabytes each. By the numbers, that would be a 38% reduction in maximum storage capacity. However, as mentioned earlier, you can also install up to eight NVMe solid state drives using an NVMe SSD Express Bay enablement kit which will provide two more NVMe drives than the Gen 9 version. The NVMe cage can only be installed in box two, which is the middle drive bay on the SFF drive configuration. NVMe drives will also require one PCIe riser per four NVMe drives for a total of two risers for eight drives. Each of the configurations supports a default drive cage at the bottom of the chassis with either four 3.5 inch drives or eight 2.5 inch drives. Two more drive cages can be installed in each of the configurations to support two or three times as much storage. Or without the calculation, four 8 or 12 LFF drives or 8, 16 or 24 SFF drives. The upper drive cage can also be converted to support a slimline optical device and two HH MIDI devices like a tape drive for data protection. A single internal SD card slot provides hypervisor support. For super fast OS boot, you can install a single M.2 universal enablement kit with a maximum of two M.2 drives with up to 960 gigabytes each. The M.2 card must be installed in slot one, two, three, or four, and is only supported by the integrated S100i SATA controller. Depending on your business needs, there are several HD RAID controllers available, including the integrated SmartArray S100i. The SmartArray S100i will provide limited software RAID functionality for SATA devices, but with the Windows operating system only. Other RAID controllers offer more RAID options, and if you go with a performance RAID option, you will need an HPE smart storage battery to support the non-volatile caching feature. There are eight PCIe 3.0 slots total on the system board, not including that dedicated slot for a SmartArray HD RAID controller. You can install a maximum of four double wide GPUs for graphics intensive applications or to extend your virtual desktop deployments. With a single processor installed, slots one through four are active. With a second CPU, all slots one through eight are active. ILO standard with intelligent provisioning for remote and out-of-band management has been updated to version 5.0 and offers a more robust set of features for managing and monitoring the system. 
HPE OneView also works with ILO to help manage the system with a template approach to managing infrastructure assets. The newest versions offer native support for the most popular browsers, including Microsoft's new Edge browser. A host of other labor-saving features help automate your maintenance processes both on-site and remotely, all using a standard browser. Both can also be updated to advanced with the purchase of a license key for even more functionality. Power is provided by either a 500 watt, 800 watt, or 1600 watt flex slot power supply that can be installed in a one plus one configuration for redundancy. The 500 watt PSU is also available as a non-redundant wired connection power supply. On the back of the system, you'll find USB ports, serial and display ports, and four embedded one gigabit ethernet ports, plus a dedicated RJ45 ILO management port, and there's also another one on the front of the system. There are many options for network communications with one, 10, 25, and single and dual port 100 gigabit InfiniBand options, which translates to 50 gigabit per second bi-directional per port, at least theoretically. The HPE ProLine ML350 Gen 10 offers remote and branch offices, a very flexible server platform that can be configured to support a number of common business workloads. With two scalable processors, support for up to three terabytes of memory, plus top of the line GPUs, it can also be used to support high performance computing and graphics intensive workloads. Once your small business grows and you're looking for more space, the ML350 Gen 10 can also be rack mounted to support your future business needs as part of a larger infrastructure. If you have any questions on this server or any other, just leave a question in the comments section below. Yes, we actually do read and respond to those with both information and sarcasm. I also placed a few links in the description for specifications and you can click that link for pricing. Like, subscribe and share. I'm Doug Stewart with IT Creations and thanks for watching.